वेलकम बैक टू द कोर्स ऑन षट दर्शना द सिक्स सिस्टम्स ऑफ फिलोसफी फॉर्म्स द फाउंडेशन ऑफ अवर एंटायर इंडियन विजडम बेस इन द लास्ट कोर्स वी टॉक अबाउट न्याय एट द फर्स्ट ऑफ द षट दर्शना देन वी हैव वैशेषिका द सांख्या द योगा द पूर्व मीमांसा एंड द उत्तर मीमांसा अब इन दिस कोर्स वी टॉक अबाउट द वैशेषिका वैशेषिका वॉज डेवलप्ड बाय ऋषि खनादा इज ऑल्सो नोन बाय द नेम ऑफ अवलोक्या लॉसो कश्यपा एंड ही डेवलप्ड वॉट आर कॉल्ड एज वैशेषिका सूत्रास probably it was around 2nd century bc in this sutras he has 10 chapters and it's also called as the books in a sense vaisheshika is a supplement to the nyaya vishesha talks about something which is special a speciality of every object every person or we can also call it as particularity of this that is vishesha in the first chapter kanada deals with the entire group of the padarthas or the predicables in the second he talks about the ascertained substance third description of the soul and the inner senses then the body and its constituents in the fifth chapter establishment of karma and action then he talks about the dharma or the virtue according to the scriptures then the seventh chapter attribute and samavaya that is co inherence or combination of things the manifestation of knowledge its source and so on are described in the eighth chapter in the ninth chapter particular or concrete understanding of each have been described and in the last chapter it talks about the differences to the attributes of the soul and a beautiful treatise the essential principles of vaisheshika it talks about the nature and qualities of the self and the atomic theory of the universe always in all these philosophies we talk about the god the universe the individual soul the actions the karma the dukkha the sukha the bondages and how to overcome all these things and go back to the source in the vishesh kal so we have the dimensions the chief objective is the analysis of the experience that's the speciality of aishashika so it begins with arranging its inquiries under categories called as the padarthas there are seven padarthas or categories that the vaisheshika talks padartha literally means pada and artha the meaning of a word but here it is used in a little special sense it denotes a substance discussed in philosophy all things which exist which can be perceived which can be named and experienced are called as padarthas the compound substances are eternal and independent so in vaisheshika the seven padarthas or categories have been talked about the first is the substance called as the dravya second is the quality or the property that is the guna third is the action fourth is the generalities of the properties the general that is samanya and then we have the particularity or the vishesha then we have the co inherence of the perpetual and the intimate relation that is the samavaya and these are the six things that kanada talks about but he later authors added on the dimension of abhava or the non existence that is the negation of existence 
the first three categories that is the substance the quality and the action they are objective existence but the next three the generality the particularity and inherence they are intellectual discriminations that i have done and these are the dimensions that have been talked about in the padarthas kanada as i mentioned only enumerated these six categories and the later edited and there are nine dravyas when you take the padarthas and each one of them have 24 qualities so we have got the earth the water the fire the air and the ether prithvi jala agni vayu and akasha then along with that we have got the time the space the mind and the soul these are the nine dravyas that they have been talked about in the dimension and the 24 qualities we each one of them they are all enumerated here you can see and the nine dravyas and the 24 qualities talk about the entire it is of this whole universe and the elevation or the throwing that is the karma aspect the karma can be utkshepana that is you throw up or you have depression apakshepana bring it down or akunchana that is contraction and prasarana expansion and motion gamana these are the five dimensions of what is called as the karma or the action then the sixth category is the samavaya or co inherence it is the co inherence between a substance and its qualities between a species and its individuals between any object and the general idea connected with it and is thought to be a real one the real entity but the seventh is the abhava and we have got the three or these abhavas that have been talked about in the dimensions that is things well these are all the categorization that has been made and you get at the knowledge through the experience analysis of the experience so what are the ways by which you get the direct knowledge and the right knowledge here he dealt with only two aspects that is pratyaksha and anumana whereas the nyaya dealt with four pramanas pratyaksha anumana upamana and the agama but here in vaisheshikas they used only direct perception or inferential knowledge these are the only two pramanas that they have accepted by kanada then we have the principle of adrishta and it's inadequate kanada in contrast to nyaya gautama he doesn't openly refer to god in his sutras anywhere the formulation of the world was the result of the adrishta that is the unseen force of the karmas or the acts and the primal activities of the atoms and souls to the principles of adrishta so atoms have the actions that are going on and then unknown forces which are attributed as god or adrishta by nyaya here it doesn't talk about god it is some unknown forces work together and that ultimate reality her god is both the efficient and the material cause of the entire universe that is what 
Canada believes in that. Atoms do not have the power and the intelligence to act by themselves. Atoms are gross. Therefore, if the atoms have to move, there should be an intelligent principle to do that. They are regulated by the omniscient and omnipotent God. Inference and scriptures compel the Ishtana and that is the intelligence of God. The unknown forces or intelligent forces that govern this entire universe is said. Now coming to understanding of the universe, the Jiva and the God. How is this universe made? The five elements are the effects. The knowledge of them that someone here not call it as God may be God author of this entire knowledge. The contents of the Vedas are the right knowledge which forms the essential knowledge base or intelligence of that unknown force we may call it as God. And the Jiva the souls are destitute of intelligence in the state of dissolution. Hence, they cannot control the activities of the atoms. There is no source of motion within the atoms. Therefore, there must be a first mover of the atom. The first mover is the creator of the God. Therefore, it is the omniscient, omnipotent source from where the whole action takes place. The atoms are Paramanus do not have intelligence, they cannot move by themselves. It is very much in attunement with the modern science. In the physical world, where the atoms and the molecules and everything, matter doesn't have intelligence. They cannot move by themselves and they cannot change by themselves and they are fixed identities. Only by an external force they can be moved, they can be transformed and others. And what is that force? The intelligent force. And in the Vaisheshikam, it is all through the omniscient intelligent process that it happens in the universe. The whole creation takes place according to these things. The atomic theory has been postulated in the Vaisheshika school. So, According to this, we have the smallest is called as the Mahat. That is the one that is perceivable, the particles. The smallest, therefore, is the Mahat. And it is defined as Tri Nukas, that is triads. Trayanukas. These are made out of three parts, each of which are defined by a Dhyanika, that is a dyad. The Dhyanukas are conceived as made out of two parts, each of which are defined as the Paramanus atoms. The Paramanus are indivisible eternal and they can neither be created nor destroyed. So essentially the Paramanus and they come together they become duas and three of such things become trianus. And according to modern science we have the molecules with our permutation and combination of atoms and the atoms are the smallest units. But later on we found atoms are made of protons, neutrons and electrons and probably that can be the triads. But we understand in modern science that each one of them are quarks, nothing but energy. That aspect has been the great development of modern science, we can say, compared to the atomic theory of this thing. Each paramano or atom possesses its own distinct vishesha, individuality. That is the speciality of Vaisheshikas. The measure of the partless atoms is known as 
परिमंडला परिमाणा दैट मीन्स इट इज एटर्नल एंड इट कैनॉट बी जनरेटेड द मेजर ऑफ एनी अदर सब्सटेंस इट्स मेजर इज इट्स ओन एब्जोल्यूटली इच आइटम इज इट्स ओन स्पेशलिटी इट इज सेट देट फॉर इन द वैशेषिका वी फाइंड ए adjunct uh, add on to the nyaya dimension if nyaya develop the pramanas to get the right knowledge you know, here also the right knowledge get by direct perception and inference and the whole essential difference between nyaya and vishesha is the vishesha everything has got its own speciality it has got its own individuality it has got his own particularity and that is the dimension of the vaisheshikas that they have brought forth and they went a little more deep into understanding of the triads and the duads and the atoms and the atoms are indivisible they said therefore vaisheshikas and the nayayakas go hand in hand these two nyaya and vaisheshika go together as almost one unit and later on we have the sankhya and the yoga coming together as one similarly the third is the purva mimamsa and the uttara mimamsa therefore we have dealt with the second of the shat darshanas vaisheshikas in this course so let us recollect the philosophies came up in our country to understand whether there is something like a reality or a creator or a god from where this whole creation has come and if it has come what is the relation of that creator with this universe how this universe or this entire world has been created what are the fundamental components of this universe and in this universe we have the objects and we have the jeeva or the individuals and what is the relation between the two and what does universe consist of the jiva and the padarthas and the jivas as we are all as individuals we have the dimensions of the sukha the dukha and we have various emotions and we have the bondages we have the slavery the whole objective is can we overcome all these bondages and go into a state of absolute freedom freedom from all tensions stresses diseases dukha and others can we have infinite happiness and bliss that have been the motivation and there is also in the astika vada there is the dimension of birth and death birth and death and we are all in the cycle of birth and death is it possible to overcome this birth and death and reach that moksha or liberation that have been the diamonds these are the questions that have been addressed in the whole of the shat darshanas and therefore this of vital value for the modern age in which now we have a lot of number of challenges that we face in life and by understanding the principles of shat darshanas we will be able to get at it what is the essential feature of hot shat darshanas proper knowledge the wrong knowledge has to be removed avidya has to be removed agnana has to be removed and that is the essential feature by which you can overcome all the bondages all the dukhas and the slavery that we have in the world and that gives us the whole direction as to how the shat darshana give us the dimension with that now we pass on in the next course to the next shat darshanas that is the sankhya and i wish you all the best dhanyawad